Dobrodošli na poslednji četvrti segment današnje rstnog konferencije u kome ćemo čuti dva izlaganja. Prvo Vladimir Volovik iz kompanije Yandex, a zatim Livio Morina iz Peering DB-a. Pa da krenemo. Kompanija Yandex je poznata po svom internet pretraživaču, ali i nizu servisa. Neki od njih su dostupni i u našoj zemlji kao na primjer Yandex Maps ili Yandex Taxi. Manje je poznato da se mrežom infrastrukturom kompanije Yandex delom upravlja iz Beograda, a kakva je uloga automatizacije u tom procesu pričat će nam upravo u narednjih 20 minuta Vladimir Volovik. Mr. Volovik, you have the floor for the next 20 minutes. Enjoy. Molim vas jedan aplauz. Dobar dan. Da. Ja sam Vadim Volovik, radim u Yandexu, ja sam tehnički project manager. I a gde je moj... Da. I ja sam od januara ovde, učim srpski od januara, učim srpski od januara, da. I, nažalost, ne mogu da pričam na srpskom, and my presentation will be in English. So, okay. And I want to start from, uh, from the beginning. What is it Yandex? Yandex is uh, the company which uh, was founded by Arkady Volos in 1997. And you can see uh, the picture, yeah. Uh, and the first, first service was uh, uh, search engine and uh, a few moments later, approximately 26 years after. Uh, Yandex is the biggest company in uh, the Russia and uh, it uh, has a um, dozen services like uh, private cloud, like a taxi, like uh, the food delivery, AI, translator and, and you name it. So video streaming, Yandex disk and so on. So, and uh, yeah, now it's about 20, thousands of people uh, work in this company in uh, Russia, in uh, this, I don't know what, what's been this, European Union, Balkans, Africa and uh, South America. So, um, and what, what, what you can, you, you can ask me what next. And uh, all these services connected uh, via network and all these people work um, in offices and all they need networks. And uh, that's why we have a uh, full complex of, um, of the networks, like uh, data centers, we have offices with a VPN, with the um, IP, tel IP telephony, with the uh, Wi-Fi and uh, so on. And um, we managed with uh, all type of the vendors, from Cisco to, I don't know, open source solutions. And uh, I think we don't have uh, microwaves, but in general, uh, we have uh, all, all vendors uh, in uh, backbone network, in a data center, in uh, Wi-Fi network, so we can manage it all. And um, this is uh, some succinct information about our data centers. So we have five of them. Uh, and uh, we managed, and we speak about uh, speed about uh, 100, 200, 400 G in uh, backbone networks. And we have our own in-house rack design. And uh, our data centers, uh, they uh, was built in the modern architecture and we use only level three, VP, um, level three only, without uh, spanning tree, without anything. And clear, clear level three technologies with the IPv6 uh, solution inside. And we use only BGP as a uh, routing protocol. And um, uh, why? Because uh, we have uh, more than, uh, sorry, okay. Never mind. So we, we have a lot of uh, equipment, uh, thousands of thousands uh, servers and uh, network elements, and our traffic, uh, our external traffic is about uh, six terabit per second. And then, and, and uh, yes, how we manage with it? So um, it's this is about um, 
how our team can configure can configure uh, our network and uh, we faced with the problems how to install new equipment how to roll out uh, new data centers or part of the data centers or we need to change our racks from one module to another one and uh, also we need upgrade software we need to change uh, net network equipment and uh, also we have to handle with the uh, network failures and um, our solution is automation of course and um, so how it made it so this is general slide about architecture you can find this slide uh, in any presentation of uh, i don't know every vendor yes in general this is um, six blocks like uh, user interface because people want to insert data to web interface or maybe CLI and uh, you can ask why CLI because this is easy to uh, create uh, in the beginning and uh, this is really useful for POC and MVP uh, also we have orchestrator orchestrator layer uh, this is about uh, so our network administrators they uh, they have a lot of scenarios for instance uh, software update and they want to run it and want to run sin in a, like a single way or maybe multiple way or periodic tasks so uh, this is about um, scenarios and uh, uh, configurator layer, this is about uh, where we cook our configuration, how we uh, create configuration, how we create uh, uh, diff and patch for our equipment, uh, all of them, all of these vendors. And uh, fundament on uh, inventory, because uh, if you want to automate something, you need database where you uh, store the information about resources, for instance, IP addresses, host names, of ends, and a lot, lot of uh, attributes, ports, and uh, so on. And uh, of course, you need something to deliver the configuration to the network. So we have uh, executor, and uh, this is uh, Python and Go uh, GoLang library, which can uh, read and write configuration and uh, uh, deliver the configuration to the uh, device so and after you want to monitor your network so this is full circle of the network automation in general and uh, we wrote so we have um, we have developed it and we support it now and uh, let's talk about a bit closer so the main process of network automation uh, begins from the simple thing like um, I want to generate text text for the uh, network device uh, because each and every network element um, they how to say you can configure it, it only via text so CLI and uh, all this stuff so yeah you need to generate it and um, uh, you want to begin from this from this um, flow uh, somebody admins they uh, need to they need to prepare the special code for the uh, which generates a CLI based uh, configuration and uh, you can see that I wrote DC office and cloud so we have uh, uh, generators per uh, network because uh, they have they uh, manage different type of devices and um, they have uh, different designs and uh, after that when you have generators network engineer can generate uh, something generate some configuration uh, for the network and uh, config engine they uh, it prepares uh, configuration uh, desired configuration and uh, I will tell tell about it later so desired configuration for your device after that you need to prepare uh, div this is like a unix unix based div and after that you need to create patch 
and uh, what is it? Diff, diff. This is a uh, difference between desired state and uh, uh, current state of the network element. And after, when you know diff, you want to uh, create commands which can uh, uh, which can how to say deploy your uh, needs to the uh, network element. And uh, let's go deeper. So, uh, how what is it? What is it? Generator. So this is two simple thing. Uh, first of all, you need data from inventory, and uh, you store, as I said before, IP addresses. You store, I don't know, uh, desire um, v variables. For instance, I don't know, timer, LSP, max H, and uh, so on. And uh, also, you need some template, for instance, Jinja2 template. And you should mix it together to prepare this uh, configuration. So this is uh, almost a real configuration. And uh, we have desired configuration. And what's next? Next, uh, ah, uh, next to you want to know, uh, what is it generator in, uh, in general? In general, so this is Python class. Uh, which uh, generates text. So you can see, maybe you can see, you know, uh, this uh, Python code. And uh, in general, our generators contains only two classes, or only two methods. First of all, run. Run for Huawei, for Cisco, for Juniper, for, I don't know, for Nokia, and so on. And you can see that this method generates uh, text, CLI text. And um, also we have uh, another one method. Uh, this is this method, not on this slide, uh, method about um, where this uh, generator works. For instance, for ISIS configuration, uh, you want that gen generator uh, only uh, influence on ISIS uh, configuration in the device. So, uh, a few words about diff calculation. So, again, as I said before, you, you had you have uh, two states. First state, it's uh, desired state, uh, how you want to be, and the current state, how it is in reality, and uh, you need to calculate it before. So, as you can see. Uh, we have a tool which can generate um, almost Unix, Unix, Unix style diff, and uh, you can see it. You can I don't know read it, and um, next stage, uh, how to deploy it? Because again, if we, if you see, you see a simple Unix style, um, Unix style un diff. And uh, you cannot implement it to Huawei because Huawei uh, they, uh, it uh, doesn't know about minus IP before agency and so on. So you need something. You need patch. And how to do it? First of all, uh, in our configurator tool, we create special um, language. Uh, which can translate Unix style diff into configuration. So, for instance, you want to delete something from Huawei, and in this case, you need to add undo blah blah blah. And uh, we have um, knowledge about it in our configuration tool. Uh, we call it rulebook. And rulebook mixed with the uh, diff and uh, that's how we can uh, create patch. So you can see that undo IPv4 adjacency and uh, all this thing. And um, after that, you can deploy it because Huawei understand it. And uh, yeah, and that how uh, works um, main flow. So if you have all this, uh, all these three steps. After that, you can uh, uh, start automation of your network. What you can do with it? So, yeah. First of all, how we use it? Uh, I think the useful case for everybody 
it's about uh, install new equipment. And uh, I think everybody uh, buy new one equipment and install it in their network. And uh, maybe everybody dreams about, uh, oh my gosh, I want to automate it. So, and uh, we created, we have special service which uh, works like that. So first of all, you add your, your new device in the inventory system. And after this device, uh, will be discovered by discover machine uh, so you can enroll new software because you uh, can manage with the um, network element and after that you can create a new configuration and deploy it so this is about our first case about roll out new uh, new equipment the second one I think it's uh, more complicated uh, let's imagine you have a network. You, you want to change your design. For instance, you want to move from layer 2 to layer 3 network and you need to change everything. And how to do it? Uh, you need, you can do it manually, but you can automate it. And in our network, we created a special uh, scenario. Uh, so we uh how to say it we uh, create scenario which uh, roll out new configuration so if somebody if somebody changed the generator uh, our orchestrator uh, shows uh, see, sees it and after that we can automatically roll out it uh, to the network so um again so uh, somebody changed it some changes in the generators they uh, initiate uh, scenario and we can roll out new configuration. So, uh, why, why it important? Uh, let's imagine that your security team tell you, please, I want to change, uh, for instance, password of uh, on each and every device in your network. And you can see that you need to roll out uh, 20K devices and uh, this is a bit uh, long maybe and um, so how it works in yandex yandex network so we detect these uh, differences and we want to roll out it and as you can see three peaks and uh, the next uh, day uh, or stage we erase diff in the first part of our data centers or modules and uh, second one and uh, now for two weeks less than two weeks we uh, erased uh, 20k diffs in our network and this is really impressive because okay you can tell uh, we can speak about for instance i want to new access list uh, on whole network and uh, it will be you know one year maybe in a huge company uh, because i worked in mts mts russia and uh, yes i i faced uh, this problem before but less than two weeks we can just erase it uh, this is if you so how it looks like for administrator uh, so we can just uh, see uh, so if you can see, for instance, the diff erased part two, uh, our administrator will see uh, how many was success, how many was failed. Yes, we uh, have unsuccessful uh, deployment because, for instance, device is not okay or something wrong with the you know, generator or something, some mistakes. So it's okay for us, but... Uh, and our administrators, they can see it and they can manage with it. And uh, the result, so uh, another one question might be, okay, we just uh, once, we just need the system once per year. But again, this is uh, information about uh, how uh, many times we enroll configuration to the uh, network. Uh, for last year and as you can see almost whole year we something enroll to the our network so this is I think 
the end. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions, Toito. Let's check the questions. Where do we yeah. have the questions? Any questions? For Mr. Volovic, Dalima Pitanya. He's got the name. It seems like we don't have any questions. No questions on YouTube as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.